Abu Ahmed has walked for hours to get to Syria's northern border with Turkey. He now waits with his wife and six children, unsure whether to cross into Turkey, too afraid to return home. His family are among dozens to have fled the village of Sugar al Kadima, attacked that morning by the Syrian army. The army is everywhere. They smash down the doors, come into your home and destroy everything. What would we go back for? So that they can kill us? We don't want anything to do with them or Syria. But here the dangers aren't over. Sleeping in improvised tents and with no water or electricity, they're at the mercy of the elements. Aid organizations aren't operational here, but some supplies do reach them by way of charitable individuals who make the hazardous journey across the border from Turkey. People come and feed us and give us something to drink. What sort of life is this? You've got kids, but it's others that come to feed you. What is this? All around the world, people can demonstrate, but not us. It's been forbidden for 40 years. We protested, and now this is the price we have to pay. Violence in Syria has already claimed the lives of over 1,200 people, with thousands more detained or displaced. For those driven out, unsure which way to turn, an end to the current crisis could not come soon enough.